Many people know Carlton Hill as a nice romantic place to take a date, to show your family around town. However, we often overlook the history of this place. In 1886, the Meadows hosted a fair where six of these mighty Portuguese cannons were on display. However, where did they come from? Why are they here? And why is there only one left? The Portuguese cannon was one of a large number of cannons that was built by the Spanish in the early half of the 15th century, almost 600 years ago. It was built to help with the expansion and protection of their growing empire. In 1580, Portugal and Spain formed the Iberian Union. Exactly where the cannon was at the time is unknown, but it's fair to say that it was under Portuguese supervision because in 1640, when they re-established their independence from the Union, the cannon was in uh, the Portuguese Asian colonies, again, protecting their empire. They were sent to the Portuguese East Indies, where they served from Mozambique all the way to Macau. They eventually fell into the hands of the King of Arakan, Arakan being a state in the west coast of Burma. How the cannon came into the possession of the King of Arakan is unclear, whether by trade or force. But in 1885, the British invaded Burma. The cannons became Queen Victoria's spoils of war and were presented to Edinburgh City to be exhibited at the Edinburgh Fair in 1886. In 1886 the cannons were brought back to Britain and gifted to the city of Edinburgh. They were initially on display in the meadows, however they were eventually brought to Calton Hill. Now 74 years after that, five of these cannons were melted down to be used in the war effort against the Nazis in 1940. And all of a sudden, all available resources were required for the war effort, including the five other cannons which were melted down for metal. After 300 years of active duty and three quarters of a century in retirement, five of these cannons were melted away, leaving the Portuguese cannon far from home and alone forever on Calton Hill. In a way, it's fitting, really. After all those years travelling around the world, those five cannons eventually found their way back to Europe. And Edinburgh has been left with a marvellous piece of history to remind us forever.